In the previous screencast, we learned how to build a JMeter test plan. Now, let's take a look at using the JMeter proxy to record our actions on a browser to build a new test plan. Okay, let's go ahead and start recording. So first, launch JMeter. And here we have our test plan again. So I'm going to test a new site called softwarebugs.com. It's an online retail store. So let's give it a name. Software bugs. Basic checkout test. And I'm going to add the usual element, the thread group. And we're going to add the request defaults. So back here, add config element, HTTP request defaults. And the domain name is softwarebugs.com. And under development, so the port is still at port 3000. Now we're going to add a new element called the recording controller. It is a placeholder for the proxy server to record samples to. It has no effect during a test run. And by default, all recorded samples are saved under here. Okay. To add the controller, we're going to right click on thread group, add logic controller. And here we have the recording controller. Let's head over to the workbench. This is a temporary place to store your test elements when not in use. One thing to know about with the workbench is that if you save your test plan, items that you've placed it here are not saved. However, you can save this independently of it by right clicking on it and saying save. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and add the proxy server. First, I'm going to maximize the screen. Right click on workbench, select non test elements, and there's the proxy server. I'm going to find the port for the proxy server as 8181 for my laptop. You'll see here the target controller is already set to use the recording controller as we defined here. Now I want the proxy server to listen to HTTP requests that include HTML in it, or correction, the .html file. So I'm going to click Add, and with a regular expression, I want it to listen for everything that ends in .html. The nice part is I can also tell JMeter to not listen to certain file requests. It already provides suggested ex excludes here, so JavaScript, CSS, um, flash files will not be listened to. All right. To see if it works, I'm going to go ahead and add a listener. There we go. And view results in a tree. Now go back to the proxy server. I'm going to go ahead and start it. Now, let's go ahead and configure our browser to go through the proxy server. Okay, let's go ahead and open up our browser. Let's select Firefox. Go to Preferences. And I'm going to change the network to listen to the JMeter proxy server. So that's localhost and port 8181. Okay, let's go ahead and visit our softwarebugs.com. It's port 3000 under development. And there's the website. Now, the listener has recorded a lot of information as the browser went through JMeter to the actual website. But notice, as I mentioned earlier, that everything that we record from the proxy will be placed under the recording controller. And currently there are no samplers. When we look at the results tree, we'll notice that in the request, there are no .html files. So we have to go back to our proxy server and make adjustments to our URL patterns. Now that we've added all the URL patterns that we're interested in, let's go ahead and record our script again. So let's reload the first page. Notice now in JMeter, the recording controller has actually recorded a sampler of the home page. And we can verify the listener. Okay, let's go ahead and click Shop. Select a product, add it to the cart. Continue shopping, add another product, and add that to the cart. Now that we've finished recording a basic script, let's go ahead and stop the proxy server. And that concludes using the JMeter proxy to record a test script from the browser. Next time, we'll continue developing the script 
as the softwarebugs.com website continues to be developed. Until then, have fun load testing your sites.